Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the lab activity, troubleshooting VLAN configurations. Before coming to this lab activity, friends, if you are watching my channel first time or if you are not yet subscribed this channel, consider subscribing. Also, enable the bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message when I upload the new videos. Here we can see our addressing table, also support assignment specifications. We will go through the objectives of this lab activity. In part 1, build the network and configure basic device settings. In part 2, troubleshoot VLAN 10. In part 3, troubleshoot VLAN 20. Also, we will go through the background. VLANs provide logical segmentation within an internetwork and improve network performance by separating large broadcast domains into smaller ones. By separating hosts into different networks, VLANs can be used to control which hosts can communicate. So, in this lab, a school has decided to implement VLANs in order to separate traffic from different end users. The school is using 802.1Q trunking to facilitate VLAN communication between switches. The S1 and S2 switches have been configured with VLAN and trunking information. Several errors in the configuration have resulted in connectivity issues. So you have been asked to troubleshoot and correct the configuration errors and document your net, uh, work. Here we can see the required resources. Two switches, uh, Cisco 2960, three PCs, then uh, console cables and Ethernet cables as shown in the topology. Now we will come to part 1, build the network and configure basic device settings. In part 1, we will set up the network topology and configure the switches with some basic settings, such as passwords and IP addresses. Preset VLAN related configurations which contain errors are provided for you for the initial switch configurations. We will also configure the IP settings for the PCs in the topology. Now we will come to step 1, cable the network as shown in the topology. We will do this first, we will build and cable the uh, network as shown in our uh, lab activity. We required two switches, here we will take 2960 switches. Also three PCs. We are going to connect these devices now. Copper straight through. F0 slash 6 to this PC. F0 slash 11 to this PC. F0 slash 18 to this PC. And we will use a copper crossover. F0 slash 1 to F0 slash 1. Now we will rename these devices as per our topology. This is S1. Here we have S2. This is PC hyphen A. Here we have PC hyphen B. And this is PC hyphen C. Also, we will label this uh, port information. This is uh, F0 slash 1. Here also F0 slash 1. This is F0 slash 6. Here we have F0 slash 11. Here we have F0 slash 18. Now we will come to step 2 configure PC host. Here we can see the IP address of each PCs. First of all, we will configure PC hyphen A. Desktop. IP configuration, here is the IP address, we will copy that. 
then the submit to mask also here we can see the default gateway coming to PC hyphen B desktop IP configuration here is the IP address of PC hyphen B submit to mask and the default gateway coming to PC hyphen C IP configuration here is the IP address of PC hyphen C then the default gateway right coming to step 3 initialize and reload the switches as necessary okay coming to step 4 configure basic settings for each switch uh, these are the basic settings we have to uh, do it on the switches uh, disable DNS lookup configure the IP address according to the addressing table assign Cisco as the console and VTY passwords and enable login for console and VTY lines then assign class as the privileged exit password then configure logging synchronous to prevent console messages from interrupting command entry so we will do these uh, basic settings first of all we will do it on the switch S1 CLI enable configure terminal no IP domain lookup enable secret as class now we will go to line VTY 0 to 15 password as Cisco login also we will go to line console 0 password as Cisco login also login synchronous now we will set the IP address uh, as per our addressing table for this uh, switch S1. Uh, here we can see the interface VLAN 1. Here is the IP address. Also we can see the subnet to mask. We will exit and we will go to that interface VLAN 1 and here we are going to set the IP address. Here is that. Then the subnet to mask 255.255.255.0. No shut command. Now we will do it on uh, the device S2. Here we can see the interface VLAN 1 and IP address for this device S2. It's 1.3. Also we can see the subnet to mask. Now we will come to the switch S2. Enable configure terminal. No IP domain lookup. Enable secret as class. We'll go to line console 0 password as Cisco login also logging synchronous now we will go to line VTY 0 to 15 password as Cisco login now we will set the IP address for the interface of VLAN 1 interface of VLAN 1 IP address here is the address then the submit to mask 255.255.255.0 no shut now we will go to step 5 load switch configurations the configurations for the switches S1 and S2 are provided for you there are errors uh, within these configurations right so and it is your job to determine the incorrect configurations and correct them so here we can see uh, those configurations uh, we will copy these uh, commands and we will put it on a notepad Here we can see switch S2 configuration. Now we will load these configurations uh, onto our switches. Here is S1 configuration. We will copy that. Coming to S1. 
we will go to global configuration mode configure terminal and here we are going to paste those commands now we will copy uh, switch s2 configuration and coming to s2 cli we have to go to global configuration mode and we will paste it here coming to step 6 copy the running configuration to the startup configuration we will do that copy running config startup config coming to s2 copy running config startup config now we will come to part 2 troubleshoot a vlan 10 in part 2 uh, you must examine vlan 10 on s1 and s2 to determine if it is configured correctly you will troubleshoot the scenario until connectivity is established now we will come to step 1 troubleshoot a vlan 10 on s1 okay. can pc hyphen a ping pc hyphen b uh, here no need to give ping because here we can see all the uh, links are down so uh, it won't communicate so here the uh, answer is no after verifying that pc hyphen a was configured correctly examine the s1 switch to find possible configuration errors by viewing a summary of the vlan information enter the show vlan brief command uh, first of all we will verify the ip address of pc hyphen a we will confirm it Here we can see PC hyphen A IP address. It's correct. Default gateway, it's correct. Now we will enter the show villain brief command uh, on the switch S1. Coming to our switch S1, and here we are going to give the show command show villain brief and we will verify uh, vlan 10 on the switch s1 here we can see that vlan 10 name is s2 tens here we can verify that in our switch port assignment specifications here we can see uh, the ports assigned to this vlan 10 are f0 slash 6 till 12 we will verify that 6 to 12 here we can see it's from 0 slash 7 till 12 and this interface I mean the port uh, FA 0 slash 6 is assigned to the default VLAN uh, we have to bring this uh, uh, port FA 0 slash 6 uh, to this uh, uh, VLAN 10 right uh, are there any problems with the VLAN configurations Yes, we identified uh, the interface F0 slash 6 we have to bring to uh, VLAN 10 on S1. Now we will come to D. Examine the switch for trunk configurations using the show interfaces trunk and the show interfaces F0 slash 1 switch port commands. Coming to our topology, here we can see this link between S1 and S2 we have to uh, make to trunk. Uh, here we can see uh, the interface f0 slash 1 on s1 and f0 slash 1 on s2 so now we will verify on the switch s s1 and here we are going to give the command uh, show interfaces trunk and here we can see uh, no trunk configured also we will give the command show interfaces We'll give the interface name faster third zero slash one switch port here we can see that here we can see administrative mode is a static access coming to e are there any problems with the trunking configuration Yes, this uh, trunking uh, itself is not configured. We have to do that. Now we will come to F. 
Examine the running configuration of the switch to find possible configuration errors. Here we are going to give show running config and we will verify. Here we can see the interface so, uh, first third and zero slash one. Uh, here we can see the mode is access. So we have to uh, make this uh, interface mode as a trunk. Also we can see uh, it's shut down. We have to bring this uh, interface up. And here we can see the interface uh, first third and zero slash six. Uh, so to port the mode access, uh, it's correct. And here we can see it's shut down. We have to bring this interface up. Here we can see interface VLAN 1, IP address, it's correct. Right. Uh, are there any problems with the current configuration? Yes, we have seen some of the interfaces are down. We have to bring them up. Coming to G, correct the errors found regarding F0 slash 1 and VLAN 10 on S1. So uh, we checked only VLAN 10 uh, on S1. Uh, also, we checked the in, uh, trunk. Record the commands uh, used in the space below, right? First of all, we will uh, bring these interfaces up. Configure terminal interface fast authority zero slash one. No shutdown. Also, we will go to the interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 6, no shutdown. Here we can see now both links are up. Now uh, we will configure the trunk. For that, we have to go to the interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Here we are going to give us a support a mod as a trunk. Now we will verify the configuration, show interfaces a trunk and here we can see now the port FS0 slash 1, here we can see the mod is on, status is a trunking. Also we can give the command to show interfaces faster third 0 slash 1, switch port. Now here we can see administrative mode is a trunk, also operational mode is trunk. Now we will assign the port FS0 slash 6 to the VLAN uh, 10. Configure terminal interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 6. Switch port mode access, I think this already given. Uh, switch port access VLAN 10. Now we will verify that. Show VLAN brief. And now here we can see VLAN 10 named students. And here we can see the ports uh, from FS0 slash 6 till FS0 slash 12. Here we can see all the commands uh, we used to configure uh, on this switch S1. Now we will come to it. Verify the commands had the desired effects by issuing the appropriate show commands. Uh, here uh, on this switch S1, we given all the show commands uh, just after uh, configuring this. Uh, coming to I, can PC-A ping PC-B? Uh, coming to our topology, here we can see the link between S2 and PC-B is down. So obviously, uh, it won't communicate from PC-A to PC-B. So here the answer is no. Now we will come to step 2, troubleshoot VLAN 10 on S2. Yeah. Using the previous commands, examine the S2 switch to find possible configuration errors. Right. Coming to uh, switch S2. Cisco enable password is class. Show VLAN brief. And here we can see VLAN 10. Uh, students and we will see the ports here we can see no ports are assigned to VLAN 10 so we have to assign these ports uh, here we can see uh, from FS uh, 0 slash 6 till 12 uh, to this VLAN 10 
Now we will verify the trunking. Show interfaces uh, trunk. It's configured. Here we can see uh, port FA0 slash 1. Here the mode is on. Status is uh, trunking. Everything correct. Here we can see VLAN allowed and active in management domain 1, 10 and 30. VLANs allowed on trunk. 1 hyphen 2 10 30 but uh, we have a 10 20 and 30 here we can see uh, this uh, 20 uh, VLANs are not allowed so uh, this is separately they're configured we will check that anyway uh, we will give one more command here show interfaces fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port and here we can see administrative mode trunk operational mode trunk coming to our topology here we can see uh, the ports used on the uh, switch es2 f0 slash 11 f0 slash 18 uh, also f0 slash 1 here we are going to give the show command uh, show running config and now we will verify coming to the interface uh, fa0 slash 1 here we can see switch port trunk allowed vlan 1 hyphen 2 10 30 here we can see the vlan 20 is missing right so we we have to configure that uh, switch port mode trunk it's correct now we will verify fa0 slash 11 switch port mode access and here we can see uh, here uh, the this port is down so we have to bring it up also we will verify fa0 slash 18 here we can see uh, switch port access vlan 20 uh, switch port mode access uh, shutdown okay this interface face is also uh, down so we have to bring it up are there any problems with the current configuration yes we identified uh, some of the problems on the switch s2 coming to be correct the errors found regarding interfaces and vlan 10 on s2 record the commands below right so we will do that now first of all we will bring these interfaces up configure terminal we will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 11 no shutdown also we will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 18 no shutdown Now here we can see uh, these two interfaces are up. Coming to the next configuration, we will go to the interfaces uh, faster third zero slash six till twelve. We will give us a range. Then here we will give a switch port uh, mode as access, switch port access uh, VLAN ten. And now we will verify this. Show VLAN brief. And here we can see the ports from FS0 slash 6 till FS0 slash 12 is assigned to VLAN 10 named students. Coming to the next configuration, before that we will give a show running config. Here we can see switch port uh, trunk allowed VLAN. Uh, here uh, this VLAN 20 is uh, not included. So we will remove this line. Configure terminal. Interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1. And here we are going to give this command. We are going to remove this uh, line. Then we are going to add it. We will remove now. Here we are going to add one comma ten comma twenty comma thirty. Now we will verify that. Show VLAN. Now this command we have to give a show interface as a trunk.
here we can see VLAN is allowed on trunk now it's correct VLAN is allowed and active in management domain here we can see the commands we used on we configured on the switch S2 coming to C can PC hyphen A ping PC hyphen B now we will check that we will get the IP address of PC hyphen B coming to PC hyphen A command prompt ping to PC hyphen B here we can see we are getting the replay now so it's successful now we will come to part 3 troubleshoot VLAN 20 in part 3 we must examine VLAN 20 on S1 and S2 to determine if it is configured correctly to verify functionality we will reassign PC hyphen A into VLAN 20 and then troubleshoot the scenario until connectivity is established right so coming to step 1 assign PC hyphen A to VLAN 20 a on PC hyphen A change the IP address to 192.168.20.2 slash 24 with a default gateway of 192.168.20.1 we will reassign this IP address uh, to PC hyphen A coming to PC hyphen A IP configuration here is the IP address then the default gateway is 20.1 Coming to B, on S1, assign the port for PC-A to VLAN 20. Write the commands needed to complete the configuration. Right, so we will implement that. Uh, coming to our topology, here we can see this uh, device PC-A is connected to the port F0-6 on this uh, switch S1. So here we are going to reassign this port F0-6 uh, to the VLAN 20 uh, from uh, VLAN 10. We can verify that. Cisco enable class show VLAN brief and now here we can see the port FA0 slash 6 is assigned to VLAN 10 and now we are going to assign uh, this uh, uh, port to VLAN 20 also if you observe this uh, show VLAN brief output here we cannot see VLAN 20 here instead of uh, 20 here they given uh, 2 so we will create this uh, VLAN 20 and uh, uh, we will assign uh, this uh, interface uh, F0 slash 6 to uh, that VLAN 20. Even without creating uh, that VLAN 20, uh, we can uh, assign uh, this port to uh, VLAN 20 uh, so that that VLAN will be created automatically. We will try that. Configure terminal. We will go to the interface uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 6. Switch port access VLAN 20. And here we can see access VLAN does not exist creating VLAN 20 now we'll verify that show VLAN brief and here we can see uh, VLAN 20 and here we can see the name is the default name VLAN 0020 and here we can see the ports uh, FS0 slash 6 so here we given this command on this interface right coming to see verify that the port for PC hyphen A has been assigned to VLAN 20 yes we verified that here we can see that coming to D can PC hyphen A ping PC hyphen C we will check that we will get the IP address of PC hyphen C here is that coming to PC hyphen A ping to PC hyphen C here we can see we are getting the replay yes now we will come to step 2 troubleshoot VLAN 20 on S1 Using the previous commands, examine the S1 switch to find possible configuration errors. Are there any problems with the current configuration? We will check that. 
here is our report assignment specifications coming to yes one here again we are going to give a show VLAN brief and here we can see the details VLAN 20 the name should be faculty but here we can see uh, the VLAN 2 with the same name faculty so we have to remove that also we can see the ports uh, from F0 slash 13 till 18 we have to assign to uh, this VLAN 20 we can see those ports are currently assigned to uh, this uh, VLAN 2 so we will assign to this uh, VLAN 20 correct the errors found regarding VLAN 20 on S1 so we will do that configure terminal first of all we will reassign all the ports to the default to VLAN then we will remove VLAN 2 uh, so we have we will go to those interfaces as a range faster than 0 slash 13 till 18 no switch port access VLAN we will verify that show VLAN brief and now we can see these ports from FS0 slash 13 till 18 is assigned to a default VLAN. Now we will remove uh, VLAN 2. Configure terminal. No VLAN 2. We will verify that to do show VLAN brief. And now we can see uh, the VLAN 2 is removed. Now we are going to reassign these ports FS0 slash 13 till 18 uh, to this uh, VLAN 20. Also, we are going to uh, rename this uh, uh, VLAN 20 to faculty. VLAN 20, name as a faculty. Also, we will go to the interface as a range, faster than 0 slash 13 till 18. Switch port access VLAN 20. Now we will verify that to show VLAN brief and here we can see the details. Now it's a 20 faculty also we can see the ports from FS 0 slash 13 till 18 is uh, reassigned to VLAN 20. Uh, this is all DV given previously to VLAN 20. Coming to C, can PC-A ping PC-C? it should work we will check that here is that here we can see we are getting the replay yes now we will come to step 3 troubleshoot vlan 20 on s2 a using the previous commands examine the s2 switch to find the possible configuration errors are there any problems with the current configuration? We will check that. Cisco enable show VLAN brief. And here we can see the details VLAN 20 faculty. Also, we can see the ports uh, from FS0 slash 13 till 18 is assigned to uh, VLAN 20. It's correct. Also, we will check show interfaces trunk. Everything correct. Everything correct. Coming to B, correct the errors found regarding VLAN 20. Record the commands used to below. Anyway, here on switch, uh, everything is correct regarding VLAN 20. Uh, can PC hyphen A ping PC hyphen C? Yes, obviously, because we did not make any more changes. Coming to the reflection questions. First one Why is a correctly configured trunk port critical in a multi VLAN environment? Yes, we know that a trunk port allows for transmission of multiple VLANs across one link. So once we configure this uh, trunk port incorrectly, uh, trunk port can prevent VLANs from communicating across switches. Coming to the second question, why would a network administrator limit traffic for specific VLANs on a trunk port? Answer is to prevent unwanted VLAN traffic. Simple, right? 
well so in this lab activity we have seen troubleshooting vlan configurations friends if you have any doubt in this lab activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and share with your friends also don't forget to subscribe this channel to get this kind of technical videos in future thank you